What's going on everybody? My name is Cody and welcome to Follow the Titanic Update 1.13 if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll make sure to check back later. Uh, anyway, so we have a new museum mode which should take us into the story of the Titanic. I didn't really uh, read the description as much as I probably should, but we are going to go ahead and check anyway. So let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll do another speed run just for kicks and giggles. How about that? So let's see. Walk into museum mode. This mode is still in early stages and under construction. This mode aims to show the Titanic in a relaxed and informative way. It also aims at increasing the frame rates and art RAM usage compared to explore mode. A decreasing poly count is still being modeled, so the portion you see is only part of the final mode. The mode might replace explore mode when it's completed. For now, I hope you enjoy exploring the available parts and learning something about the history of the ship. Push and to return to the menu. Well, first of all, I've got about 130 FPS, so I was left to that corridor. This corridor runs to the first class aft grand staircase. There is addition to a lot of first class aft. Eh. 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 Okay, so this is kind of like Titanic Honor and Glory at this point. But obviously, Peter. This would have been obviously first class to the B deck. Okay, so I can still run. B deck. This corridor runs forward at Grand Ice as the first class cap. Well, let me go in. Yeah. Alright, so these elevators obviously go all the way down from A to B to E deck, not B deck. First class elevators. These were the only elevators in first class. And to go from A to E deck, there was seating inside and an elevator operator to open and close the gates. The elevators were driven by electric motors, which were cased in the top of the shafts on both deck. I'm the other. A glory crowded tide. Excuse me, guys. Let's see. Alright, what do we got here? Port up first class interest on B deck. This is where all first class vessels to enter the, jet, uh, the ship in Southampton on its main voyage. So, if you remember Honor and Glory, this is where that stuff would have popped out. Um, let's go ahead and go above deck real quick to see what we got. The upper uppers it's a deck so this would have been promenade deck and things like that so what we got the revolving door behind this door is the door that leads to first class reading and writing room in the first class lounge Grand circus is the biggest circus on the Titanic it went from boat deck all the way down to F deck it was only a it was only for first class passengers to consider very luxurious. It's based on the design of the staircases and Versailles, or Versailles, especially the staircase at Palais Denier. <laughs> the grand staircase is made out of oak wood and contained many detailed carvings. And none of it survived the sinking. It all dragged to the bottom of the ocean. Alright, so let's go ahead and keep looking about. I want to go top to bottom on this, so, you know. I'm very interested, interested rather, to see what they're going to do with the in, in, engine rooms and stuff, because I'd love to see that. Oh, let's see. First class promenade. This promenade ran from the fore to the aft to Titanic. It's not very luxurious compared to other first class facilities, but it's quite a large area. Passengers could rent deck chairs to relax. Or just stroll around the deck. Titanic's four promenade deck was a closed rather than open like on Olympic. This means there are only rectangular windows instead of a railing. This is done because long as passengers complain about ocean water going in during bad weather. So they say. Also, a good excuse for a conspiracy theory. I highly recommend the one from JP Morgan. Right then. So.
Alright, so. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, and yeah, I know, guys. I haven't actually done a proper YouTube video in a while. I apologize for that. I've got a whole lot of stuff on my plate these days, and I'll be more than happy to tell you eventually. Alright, so there's that piano that you fling around and everything. Uh, Decker Brothers. I got my mouse running across my other screen. Alright, so. Mm -hmm. I do like the period music they're using here. That's a um, very nice added touch, but they should have been other doors here. Alright, so. That being said, we've already gone up to the top deck. I was hoping I could kind of get on deck deck, but we're going to go ahead and deal with that. All in all, so far, I'm actually not mad about how this guy has been doing this. Like, I thought I was going to be really pissed off with the updates, but other than that, I'm not so bothered by it as I used to be. Inquiry office. This office is used for multiple purposes such as buying tickets for the pool, gym, squash court, or bathhouse. Passengers could also request for a letter to be sent in the form of a telegram. They would have to fill out a form which would then be sent to the Marconi room to be transmitted. I would love to see a model of the Marconi room to be honest with you. Um, let's see what we got here. There's those grand staircases just into a lot of first class cabin. We should be on C deck now. So there should be a few other things to read. Um, there really weren't that many first class cabins when you think about it. These kind of ships were uh, passenger ships, obviously. The first class cabins. Alright, so we are on C deck. As soon as we get down, this should lead us more towards the first class dining rooms. First class reception room. This area is served for first class passengers to relax before or after dinner. The entrance to the dining saloon is at the aft wall of the reception room. And if you remember, this is where you're trying to survive the sinking ship and this is busted. You would run in here to get your key. You'd be running in here. Key would be like right there. I don't know if it's still there, but you'd be sitting there trying not to drown right here. You would run up this wall right here unless they change something which you probably did but you know like we're smart we'll figure it out right uh, let's see this should lead to the kitchens if I'm not mistaken first class for bleh, bleh, bleh. first class dining saloon the first class dining saloon is behind this wall the windows in this wall are different on the Titanic compared to the Olympic which had multiple narrow arch windows the recent discovery was made by a team the upcoming game Titanic Honor and Glory. So he is taking a nod to the information of Titanic Honor and Glory, which I do appreciate because I am very excited to see how they do that. Sister room serve for relax before or after dinner, the interest of the saloon with the apple all their session room. But yeah, I'm very excited to see Honor and Glory. And this game's got a lot of potential too. At first I hated it, but you know, now it's one of the upcoming game, Honor and Glory. And whenever I do get my hands on an updated version of the game, be prepared for me to spam the crap out of that on my YouTube, just because. Now we're going to go down to E deck, and this should lead, well I already know that leads to Scotland Road, more than likely. Whoops. Sorry about that. My, um, obvious thing. Under construction. About two and a half miles under the surface. So this is definitely going to lead to Scotland Road, which is the, obviously the longest um, part of the ship. It's the longest straight corridor. Alright, so, looks like it's not going to let me go any lower. Nope. Alright then. So, being said, we're going to go ahead and go straight back. Wow, that was a glitch, wasn't it? Okay, so... <clears throat> hmm. Alright, 
So, we're gonna go ahead and try to do the escape mode now. Um, make things easier on myself. Now, this game has been updated at least two times since the last time I played it, so anything that happened before is probably a little bit different now. So, we're hoping that it's gonna be. Um, I really do hate that that event trigger is still right there, but it could be a lot worse, so we're not. Eh, we're gonna go this way, and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this later. Um, I really want him to start adding the NPCs to the game, because, you know, as soon as that iceberg scene, there'd be pretty much nobody on the um, staircases or anything. But, um, you can imagine. And then they could probably even add a Britannic event to it, too. That'd be fun. And there's a lone guy right there, as always. I still hate having the cheater die. Overall, though, the cinematics still look pretty good. We're gonna hit the iceberg, aren't we? Yes, there you are. That'd be really cool if they could actually give you a scene of the boiler rooms being attacked too, because that would be historically accurate and absolutely beast. And I'd be most pleased. Now, if you do this right, you should be able to play through the entirety of the escape mode in under 10 minutes. Or not even 10 minutes, because I remember originally I could not figure my way from up and down, which the ship had nine different decks and they were all laid out differently, so all of that's totally feasible and would make perfect sense. So let's see if they did any kind of graphical updates to know. They did add screaming from what I can hear, so... Yeah, I can hear screaming. That's not been there before, I believe. Alright, so water levels are obviously getting higher. Dang. Okay, that was weird. Alright, so... That glitch was weird. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and grab that. And now we're gonna Minecraft the shit out of this. Alright, so... It's gonna run. Turn on a flashlight, hope the Slenderman isn't around. Run, 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 run. More or less looking around now because I'm not about to. Okay, so those look a little bit better. Generic lightning effect, but I can't really bash on the guy. Alright, so. <coughs> Let's see. Run! Hashtag running. Alright, so. Uh oh. There we go. That was weird. Sun doors my closet and subjected to too much flooding in a short time. Well, the worst part is right there. I just helped sink the ship faster. Does that make me a bad person? More than likely. Oh boy. That makes me a terrible human being. And we're going to run some more. I swear to God, that alarm better not still be there, because I'll be annoyed. That door wasn't like that before. Anyway. I don't even know why that lever was there, to be honest with you. Okay, so. Yep, that annoying-ass alarm. There's no alarms like that in any of the passengers areas Generic water noise silence water noise I'm hard by that all right so <laughs> okay so we're good now we're gonna go this way all right jump over here I'm looking to see if there is anything different. So far, graphical improvements 
abound, but not really much more. It's counterintuitive to be going in the direction where the ship is actually leaning down. It's weird. Like, you wouldn't expect to run towards the water, because you don't want to go towards water. But at the same time, you... That a thing. It's still so seriously. He's a good beekeeper, isn't he? Alright, so. There we go. We got that. We're gonna run over here. The door should be right there. Now we're gonna go up. And. Damn it. Ah, there we go. Alright. This game really has no intention on getting along with, uh, oh, that's right, I have to go up. Let me get that, yep, I have to go up. I have to go here. <coughs> I like how the rate I'm running is nearly as fast, it's, or it's actually slower than the water is taking over the ship. Um, we're not gonna food store dodge this again, I hope, so. Eh. I, I like the fact that I'm so strong that I can push a 500 plus pound piano. But, come on. Come on. Stop playing near my god to thee, it's depressing. Come on. Eh. Eh. Proof that the ship has some work to be done to it. It's more or less the engine right, the game's running on as well. I don't know exactly what engine we're running, but. Okay, so. I need. What a blasted hell is it? So, there we go. That's what I needed. Alright, so. Like I said, this should only take about 5 10 minutes tops. And every time we have a scene shift I have to sit there and fix this there we go so now we're up here we're in a rich ass bitch part of the ship and again I hope that they take more notes out of honor and glory and uh, do things hardcore awesome so stairwell Why there's no door there is beyond me. Alright, so the ship is listing, obviously. Alright, so. Like I said, it's taking me roughly 20 minutes, so 10 minutes to explore, uh, another 10 minutes to get the hell out of Dodge. That sounds about right for me. Alright, so. I'm just gonna run with the Dickens. And just think, at this point, there's still about a thousand people clamoring on the decks and everything, screaming at the top of their lungs, doing everything they can possibly to survive. And I know this game isn't ready yet enough to... Is it, oh, there's steps now. Good job. At least there. And... Am I gonna make it? I never make it on the first jump, damn it. You drown. Really? Actually, I probably froze to death to be honest with you. <coughs> bitty, 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 bitty. Like I said, it would take me roughly 20 minutes. I've got this pretty down pat. It just haven't done a proper YouTube specific video that wasn't my life a YouTuber series in a while so I forgot how to let's play for a minute. Anyway so we got that and we're gonna try to do this again. We're gonna try this again. Leroy Jenkins boom Alright so we still don't got that propeller that I want. I don't know why I'm on this random dinghy that doesn't make sense of my time travel or some shit. Okay so they're better only. Okay, well they got the 
logic behind only that particular um, funnel being a dummy and then all this, but that should have already fallen. Um, anyway, so that concludes this updated version of Fall of the Titanic. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Please leave comments in there, and then we can sit there and kind of give this guy some ideas. And I will see you guys in the next video I do. So you guys have a good one. I'll see you next time.